And as we move back, I'm going to point out that you'll see that the powder coat, this particular chassis has been powder coated. The sheet metal parts have been painted to match, which you'll see very soon. <clears throat> and what we've done is we've removed the powder coat down to metal surfaces for the foot pegs and all the mounts that go with it. At this angle, you may not be able to see, but we've got metal that's exposed with just a black marking pen over the top at this point of the chassis. This is where the engine cases sit in the front and the rear. The powder coat has been removed so it's down to a metal surface that's been coated. And as we move back the transmission mounting area has been cut and cleaned and all powder coat removed. It's very critical that you do this. You have to have a metal to metal surface in order to properly align the engine and the trans. Okay, this is our soft tail assembly area that we're going to work with. Now basically, we've got a pre-assembled unit. Once again, I'm going to explain a few things. You may get a non-powder coated or non-painted swing arm with your assembly of your frame. In other words, if you have a bare frame, you're going to have a bare swing arm. You may or may not have these bushings installed. These are factory soft tail pilot bushings. They're a, bearing, they're a fixed bearing that rotates only. It doesn't spin. It's a tight fit and it takes some patience to put it in square. Now what I'm showing you is a hard tail chassis. This assembly here, based on the soft tail design, the frame is all one going back to the swing arm. There's no center pivot point, and there's no basic shocks underneath as a socket. So you have no shocks, you have no pivot point, and you have an easier assembly. Also, you don't need to install the belt to prior assembly of the swing arm as you do on a soft tail. The Pro Quad is basically the same. You do not have to install the belt at the same time you assemble the back of the bike. This has a fixed rear fender and sometimes there's struts coming down the rear or fins coming back to support the rear fender. It's called a hard tail mount. Everything's mounted solid. Everything's solid to the frame. So the only thing we'd have to do is put our rear wheel in, no splash guards, assemble a rear wheel in our earlier said fashion, never seize on the rear axle, and complete the assembly at that point. Tightening of the rear axle is not recommended at this time. We just want to lightly snug it up if we were to have the rear wheel in this bike. That basically is the difference between the soft tail, the hard tail, and the quad link.